Coach, not not anything you probably didn't expect tonight in terms of USF being tough, hard-nosed, grinded out kind of ball game. Yeah, I thought uh, the biggest key tonight was holding them to 55 points. I mean, they they're they're such well-coached team. They're ratty. They're tough. They're physical. Uh, we missed eight layups in the first half. Now, part of that is because they're they're not just. It's not layup line layups. It's layups with with bodies, you know, outstretched hands, and they put their chest on you, and they do a wonderful job of defending. And that's why every night they have a chance to win. Like they went to Memphis and won. They uh, the other night against Houston, they had a chance to win. But David Collins missed four free throws in the last 50 seconds. Um, I expected them to be a tough team defensively, so to be able to score uh, 65 and come out with a 10-point win when you know we weren't our best, but we were good enough to win against them by 10. And that's all I care about. And you sent the right players to the free throw line. We thought <laughs> yeah. free throws would be important, and they were, but you connected with high regularity with only three guys going to the line. Yeah, uh, Jamie and Tyson and uh, Poor Bear got some shots at the end. He's only two for four, but. Jamie was, was, has a beautiful touch, you know, for a big guy. Uh, he couldn't finish. Durr gives him problems. Durr is a very physical, strong, big defender, and he has a hard time finishing on, on, on Durr. But we held them on, on the defensive end to 36%. And 21% from three. Mm -hmm. So uh, forced 15 turnovers. Their two best players, Collins and Rideau, had 10. So we were really ratty when those guys were coming off those ball screens and there was a lot of hands and, and arms and legs. And we did a pretty good job for the most part. Now, one, one, <coughs> once or twice, we didn't help the helper enough. You know, the big, the big comes over, really contests the shot, and the guard doesn't slide in front of the big and kind of root him out. And so they were able to get a couple of second chance opportunities. But in the end, um, it didn't look great, man. They made a good run, cut our nine or ten point lead d down to a tie game. But uh, in the end, our guys just made the plays, and I thought that last group was very, very effective. Depth pay paid some dividends once Depth again. Depth played some dividends. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, and the two big guys, uh, Asbjorn and, and uh, Pooh Bear, combined for 11 minutes. So that, you know, we played 10 guys, but we played eight, 12 minutes or more. I thought Trey Wade gave us a boost yes. to, in his minutes. He was, he was plus. Uh, Eric was plus 10. Jamarius was plus 12, Jamie was plus 8, uh, Dexter and Trey plus 4, so uh, you, you know that's what it's all about. What's the scoreboard doing when you're in the game? And Jamie obviously was a force throughout, although you had trouble getting him the ball a little bit early in the second half, but over various other times, different guys stepping up. I thought Eric right away coming off the bench. Hit a couple of shots, grabbed three defensive rebounds. Trey Wade helped you get off to a good start in the second half. Tyson had his moments. It really kind of, Jamarius had some, some good moments where he kind of led you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, everybody had their good and, and bad points. But uh, as a team, you know, we were. The, the, all I can say is the pink uniforms are 1-0. <laughs> you can go to GhostShockers.com and bid on the uh, uniforms. We're going to wash them. We're going to get them cleaned. Um, uniforms, I think some shoes, a tie that I wore back uh, for the Suits and Sneakers game uh, a couple of weeks ago. So uh, we, I saw some numbers already. You've got until March 1st. So go shockers.com and there'll be a link to how to get to eBay to bid on those uniforms if you're interested. And we had all the money is going to be donated to the American Cancer Society to help with uh, breast cancer research. And we had several calls, Mike, pregame yeah. about yeah, that very few. thing and how could they bid? Well, it's already it's already happening. Go shockers.com or go right to eBay and I guess search Wichita State game warm uniforms, but they will be clean. <laughs> We're not going to get too <laughs> sweaty and nasty. Big game on the road coming up on Sunday and a tough, tough loss to this team here. Yeah, I'm like to get man. Back. Oh, my God. We, Grant had such a great shot to give us the two-point lead, and, and then uh, Cumberland just made a big, big play, and they got a beneficial whistle there at the end, and, uh, you know, it was a heartbreaker, and it was right after the Tulsa heartbreaker. So we've got both of those teams coming up.
Tulsa's the last game of the season on senior day when we'll honor Jamie here. Uh, we've got to go to SMU, we've got to go to Memphis, and we've got one other Temple coming here. So five games left. But, you know, back in the day, Mike, 20 wins was a mark of a good season. You know, we play a, like one or two more games than we used to. But I remember as a young person, a player, a young coach, if you won 20 games, you had a good year. We've won 20. It still with, is a good year. We've, right? we've won 20 with five to play, plus the conference tournament and anything after that. So, you know, if, 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 if the Lord's willing and the creek don't, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the creek doesn't flood, we're going to be, uh, we're going to, we're going to surpass 20 wins pretty easily. We're already at 20, and you know, we, but nothing's easy from here on. It's going to be tough. Every game is going to be tough. Yeah. Well, congratulations Great. on a big win tonight. Great one. Thank you, guys. Mm -hmm.